When storing Maxwell chemistries, make sure the box is stored upright, with all the reagents in their correct positions in the box. This will minimise any risk of leaks or spills. When you are finished with the kit, place the reagents back inside for the next user. In this demonstration, we will be using empty cartridges alongside a cartridge with chemistry in. Place the deck tray on the bench with the numbers facing you, and clip the required number of cartridges into the deck tray with the biggest clip over the back lip. Press firmly to ensure the cartridge is seated in the tray, indicated by a firm click from the front and back of the tray. This is a cartridge containing chemistry. The wells are numbered 1 to 8 with the dark coloured resin in well number 2. Always place the cartridge into the deck tray before removing the seal. To remove the seal, pull gently in a downward diagonal motion to open the first well. Place your sample into well 1. When this is completed, remove the rest of the seal. Place a plunger into well 8 of each cartridge. Place an elution tube into every row where there is a cartridge, ensuring the tube is open Press down firmly and the cap is facing to the bottom of the tray. Do not place labels around the centre of the tube. If marking is required, please write on them with a sharpie. Using the elution buffer from the kit, pipette the correct amount into each elution tube. When this is complete, check there is a lution buffer in every elution tube. This is a good time to check that each of your cartridges is clipped down thoroughly. Each cartridge contains a plunger, and you have an elution tube in the correct position filled with the lution buffer and the cap pointing downwards. This completes deck tray setup.